Hey. Hey. Do you guys do you guys do you guys know what a Brooklyn brew crawl is? No. No. Brooklyn. Well, we're gonna show you. All right. <laughs> No. I am not 10 foot tall and I'm damn sure not below. Wow, kind of anti, yeah, I was going to say kind of anticlimactic. I thought I was going to get a good shot of the train. They are teasing over there. They're We're getting a case of vertigo right now because. <laughs> of, these, of these steep steps. We're literally on like a straight yeah, angle. Watch the back, guys. Just like walked right by this. <laughs> that is so weird. There's the third. Man. There's a Ninja Turtle bench across the street. Here, I love that. Show. In front of a pizza parlor. Turtle pile. Turtle pile. Actually, found the next place for a I know, because they have dogfish head. They have dogfish head there. Hey, hey. Be like, be like uh, Willow. That way, Eden. <laughs> the lake is that way. I want to sing the Guns N' Roses song. No one's gonna That way. Sloth pig. 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 Enlightenment. I was going to say, is this a telephone? Thing? Like, but then I was like, like, like barbecue? No. Marvels, I lost my mind. I did. Beer has. Well, it has. It has. <laughs> it is for me. It, I will exercise the demons. <laughs> I like the, the ejection power thing. Of fear you. <laughs> the power of fear compels you. I think have somebody took a party bus over here. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe we can hit the ride. Hi, Anthony. Hi. 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 <laughs> All the lines moving. Everybody, take two steps. We did it. Now we're in the sun. <laughs> now we're going to bake. Burn. Burn. We need beer. Beer. Wait, but that'll make you more dehydrated. Beer. So where are we? We're at Brooklyn Brewery. Brooklyn Brewery. Ah, oh, it's too bright. I can't see it. Oh, uh, Brooklyn Brewery. So when you come here, you have beer tokens. They give you beer tokens. So you got to pay for your beers in advance. Pro tip. Jamie, you ready? We are ready for beer. This is right? Yeah. This is yours. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Two beers. Yeah, two beers. Two beers. Two beers. Did you enjoy your beer show? Absolutely. What did you get? Uh, I don't even know what I got. I got the beer buster and uh, the wheat. The wheat. Good? Green wheat, yes. Good. And Jamie. Hello! Did you get the IPAs? Have you met me? Alright, since you're an IPA connoisseur, what did you think? Uh, I think the IPAs are great here. Yeah? Yeah. All right, which was your favorite, the Defender or uh, what is the, this, the West Coast? Definitely Co Defender. Defender? I just know that. Yes. That's funny because I, I felt that you didn't like the Defender though. No, I like that one. It was ice cold. <laughs> it was ice cold. Did you enjoy the beers, babe? I did. I, the right now I'm drinking the uh, wheat market. The wheat market? Yeah. Yeah, the wheat, the the wheat, wheat market. market. We traded. 
Yeah. Um, we had the Million Oyster Saison, which is good. And then we also had the Buster beer, which was actually all the profits go to ALS. Yeah. And that was really good. I really like that one. I enjoyed the American I, I feel Ale. Like this one's kind of like my favorite, though. This uh, Green Market. The Buster? Wheat. Yeah, no, this is the Wheat. Oh, the Wheat. Yeah. Woo! Malty. Malty. Everybody has three o'clock, man. Three o'clock. It's like something out of saw. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it's a water fountain, dude. A saw water fountain. And I think that's everybody. Okay, hi, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Uh, let's give everyone a hand for making it here to, to drink. Woo! Beer. Uh, <laughs> my name is Will. Uh, I've been here for uh, about four months now. I've been giving tours. I do tastings here during the week. Uh, I love it. It's my preferred job. I have another job which I don't like. I kind of like, I just sit there like this and then I come here and I sit here like this. Or I stand. <laughs> uh, now this is, this is our new brew house. We use this equipment. The Rolex system it does twice the capacity and it's fully automated. So except somebody like putting their hands in there and checking on it, we actually monitor everything from that booth over there. And it's very cool. Our booth master, Garrett Oliver, can just wake up in his bed, look at his iPad, and go, yep, and just like go back to sleep. <laughs> um, so modern era is wonderful. So let's start with water. New York City has awesome water. You may not think so by looking out at the Hudson or the East River. Our water source is very fresh. It comes from the Catskills. Brief history on water. 1832, the city is growing at huge rates. We don't have a fresh, dedicated water source. That's when they built the aqueduct system that brings fresh water to uh, New York City. Uh, originally, it was drawn water from Westchester. Yes, now it draws water all the way from the Catskill Mountains because that's where the sticks are. Melts into the city. So we have this really fresh water. We also have our malts. Our malt is germinated cereal grain. Uh, it can be barley, it can be wheat, it can be oats. Uh, what we do, we dip that grain in water and it starts to sprout just a little bit and create sugars to feed a plant. We say no, and then we, we burn it, we kill that seed in essence, so we can get its sugar. Um, if we want a lighter colored beer, we're only going to kill that malt for a short amount of time to get something like this in my left hand. The uh, longer we uh, kiln or roast that, that barley malt, um, we're going to get a darker uh, malt as a result. So this is our chocolate malt. We make our black chocolate stout with this. Um, we add no chocolate to our black chocolate stout. That's just the sort of flavor you get by roasting. It's like Willy Wonka's factory. Look at this. Where's the beer waterfall? <laughs> yeah, feel free to go wild, man. I kind of like the same brew house there. So we last left off, we had our wort. Our wort was getting sent here into these fermentation tanks. We have 50 barrel fermentation tanks here. We might have 100 barrel, including the bag of the giant food are the right, 200 barrel fermentation tanks. Um, depending on what we're going to make, uh, it could take four weeks to create, say, uh, our, our lager. Um, it could take, before I get into that, does everyone know, and if you do, raise your hand, the two types of beer. So the two types of beer. Yeah, you guessed correctly. It's going to be a very important part of Wow, I have two for two. So those lockers are going to take much longer. A uh, lager is a German word for storage. So when we ferment that beer, we have to ferment it at a lower temperature than the ales. We have to store it and condition it. So it takes anywhere from three to four weeks to make a quality lager. Uh, our summer ale, for instance, takes about eight days start to finish. Um, we ferment that at a much higher temperature, uh, and the process is a lot faster. You get a lot of those fruity, estery flavors off of your ales, where your lager is very crisp, very highly attenuated, because all the sugar gets. And that's what the yeast is doing in fermentation tanks. It's eating the sugar and producing alcohol from the oxide. Yep. So, needless to say, uh, we accept the conditions. Milton says, come back in a week, I'll have something for you. Stephen Tom come back a week later. Milton does the big reveal. And we got this, right? We have that. Not to scare uh, We have that, right? And um, Steve, Tom, they look at each other and they look back at Milton and say, hey, uh, a couple things. Um, there's no eagle with pizza in his mouth. That was very explicit when I asked for the, the pizza eagle. Also, he changed the name of the brewery, man. It's the Brooklyn Eagle Brewery. Why does it just say Brooklyn Brewery? Uh, Brooklyn says, hey, the pizza idea is stupid. Uh, a. Uh, B, you don't need an eagle in your logo and your brand. Uh, another big beer company, which shall remain nameless, already has an eagle. You don't 
Brooklyn is. One in four people in the U.S. can trace their roots to Brooklyn, Ellis Island. You need to sell Brooklyn. They're like, oh, okay. And they, they're kind of upset. This is what they want. They take it home to their wives and drink. It takes about two days for their wives to convince them that this is the logo. That's going to be more famous than they can ever imagine. And today, that is the logo of the Airstone. And that, my friends, concludes part one of our Brooklyn Brew Crawl and our visit to the Brooklyn Brewery. We hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, even in Brooklyn, adventures out there.